you feel so good. Weather, let's say you don't you don't have a weather app. It'll tell you the weather app up here in the top of the notification bar. I already have an app right there, so I don't use that. LED options. Um, I like mine to pulsate instead of just blinking. When you first get your Nexus S 4G and you're not rooted, you'll never get a notification. There's no notification light on this thing. When you do root, you can get it, and normally you have to put a custom kernel on top of the ROM that you're running, but luckily this ROM uses a kernel that already takes, um, it will already let you use the soft buttons as a notification light and mine pulse. So I will show you what that looks like. Let me uh, go to my text real quick. So I send myself an email or I send myself a text and uh, you should see the, right there that you see the Buttons blinking right there, so that's nice. Instead, of, when it's in the corner out of my eye, I can it kind of catches my eye more than a solid light. So that's why I like to have that. Uh, that's why I like to have that blinking. Make sure you don't see that my number. And what's also nice is that this thing has the uh, power notification widgets toggles. Um, you can either have them switches or buttons. I have mine as buttons, and so you have the uh, the LED flashlight. Um, there's also, if you check in the options, instead of having to turn it on and, and hitting that button, you can hold the power button and that will activate uh, this LED. But I don't think I have the, uh, I don't think I have that, yeah, I don't have it uh, checked. But, um, Wi-Fi, um, rotation, sync, fast charge. Fast charge is nice. Um, so normally, for phone chargers, I think most of them, or at least the Samsung ones are, a half an amp when you so that makes your phone charge like kind of slow but if you have this enabled for this fast charge what will happen is um, if you do have a charger that outputs one amp like uh, like uh, my old hero charger if you have my check out my old videos you know I used to have an HTC hero um, the hero out <laughs> outputs one amp or well, car chargers also when you have your phone off and it's charging it will give the full one amp to your phone instead of just the half amp that phones uh, restrict the charge to and you have a uh, mute and vibrate and what's also nice is this has the built-in hotspot uh, toggle so if you want to do your tethering on you got a laptop but you don't have a internet connection around you can use your phone as a hotspot so you just tap that and uh, after you enable it and it'll say hotspot active touch to configure and then you just go ahead and configure it. You can put a password on it, whatever you want to do. I'll turn my off right now. Make sure I didn't forget any settings. Um, but in general, you can hide the toggles. So let's say you don't want them all the way there. You can. Oh, sorry about that. That's how you get to the menu. If you want to just hide these, you just press it once and then go away. Brightness control, you can also control the brightness from here, or auto brightness. Um, toggles, these are the toggles that are available. You know, Wi-Fi, app, LTE, um, data, vibrate, silent, sync, and fast charge. And like I said, if you want switches, you can also do switches. I'll show you that. But I feel like it takes up way too much room, so I put on the buttons, and you got way more room. And lastly, um, battery bar, you can, instead of having this battery icon, you can have the battery bar across the top, and it'll gradually go down as your battery decreases. And you can increase the CPU. Right now I'm running it at uh, 1.1 gigahertz. My minimum is 100. I'm using the on-demand governor scale, which is the default for phones. Um, you can change the amount of memory. So let's say you don't want to keep all, this, all these apps here. You can limit how many apps are kept there. There's a fast charge and instead of using Voodoo, which I'm using, that's why my you kinda look at my uh, icon, especially uh, Google Wallet which is a, that's an icon with a nice color. My colors kinda pop more is because I'm using Voodoo app. I'll go over that app later in another video but instead of having a Voodoo app 
it's also available here so if you want to change your kind of colors right there it's built into the ROM your gamma and your multipliers and also I want to show you that this ROM has some of the latest stuff in it that's out um, if you don't believe me I'll show you the about phone right there you'll see it is running Android 4.04 .04, which is the latest and I'm on build uh, 3.0 for this and I'll show you that uh, we're also running on the Play Store so Play Store works you know you can get to there paid apps do work also um, uh, what else would let me show you the camera I got a lot of camera apps as you can see Hit up the camera, take a picture. You know, it's not gonna go as fast as the Galaxy Nexus because that's a hardware issue, but um, it takes really good pictures. I almost got the if you want to see the options. You know, I got the exposure, the white balance, the flash mode, um, power shutter. So if you want to see, you can use the this button as a the shutter button. It's got the it's got video mode, camcorder does work. If you want to see the camera options, um I believe the effects don't work. I think it shuts down and you use the effects, so I'm not gonna try that. But white balance, it's got a timer on there, time lapse, and storage location and power shutter works on that as well. And lastly it has the Panorama, so if you want to put a panorama picture together, I think I did one earlier. Let me see if I can find that panorama that I had. I'm not going to find it, but it does work. And so those are the latest apps. Let me make sure I don't have anything else that you would want to know about it. Oh, oh yeah, Google Wallet. Let me show you that Google Wallet does work. Go here. And as you can see, I got a... Uh, says verified and my prepay card does work you can add more cards um, payment cards rewards card transactions offers like Google Wallet works just fine so that is it um, slim ICS like I said it is the definitely the fastest ROM I've ever tried um, if you have any questions or comments let me know just post them uh, below the video you know I'll always get back to you as soon as I can and thanks for checking out another video. This is Wise Man White, the Tech Temple. See you guys later.